Welcome to the Design It 8 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at a new feature in Original Pattern Drafting section of the program called Exact Stitch Layout. I have a child's top open right now that was created in Standard Garment Styling section of the program, and then we opened it in Original Pattern Draft. We can tell that these are Standard Garment Styling pieces because they're gray and original pattern drafting pieces such as these two pockets are blue and this is the active piece. Let's make the front the active piece by clicking on it with our left mouse button and let's turn off the vertical mirror. I'm going to turn the exact stitch layout on and this puts a haze of orange around the entire garment piece. Let's make this centralize the piece that opens it so that it fills the workspace and you can see that there are little circles around the garment piece. If I use my magnifying glass to zoom in I can see these circles better and they're actually orange ovals that define the edge of each row of the particular garment piece that we're working on. Before we get started with the exact stitch layout when you select a stitch handle or stitch multiple stitch handles with your mouse let's turn this off let's select this point and it turns green this means that I can move it sideways I could have also dragged a box and made multiple stitches active at one time when I move this point for the first time I can move it left and right because it defines this row I cannot move it up and down because it only, only works on this one row. Let's move it over one stitch. It brings up a warning. In this mode, you can drag the edge stitches to the exact positions you require. Each time you drag a stitch, new points are constructed around the edge of the piece. This provides precise control of the stitch layout and takes over from the stitch slope type and method tools to define the stitch layout. You can save time by using these units first before entering this mode. Tension should be entered exactly accurately before using this mode. If you later change the tensions, you may need to use options and revert to move back to a non-exact stitch layout mode. The tensions can be set here. I'm going to change my tensions to 30 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters. OK. Let's close this window. And I've moved this one stitch over. Let's make this the active stitch and move this stitch over. Let's make this the active stitch and move this stitch over. And do the same for this stitch and move this stitch over. And you can see that the neckline shaping is slightly different. I can move this stitch in one more. And I have a nice curve for my neckline. Again, this is worth repeating. It is extremely important to use an accurate tension swatch to specify your gauge as you are using individual stitches and moving individual stitches to fit your particular garment. Designing it remembers this until you later change this piece, but there are two consequences of this. Stitch handles buttons automatically turn on when this piece is selected now as the active piece and the stitch handles are always shown as light orange ovals. If I want to move this next point now, I can also use, let's take this point here, I can use my arrow keys also to move them back and forth instead of just my mouse. Let's walk over to the shoulder shaping. And right now I have a cast off every two rows and I could put one stitch over, make this the active stitch, move this over one, make this the active stitch, move this over one. And I can change the, the stitches on my shoulder as well. Another way we want, may want to move is by making a box. And then all of these are active, and I'm using my keyboard to move these over. 
It is still, however, possible to, if I want to enable checking for correct shaping, as we have here, and also to check for the correct shaping for the direction of knitting icon errors that are new to Design Knit 8. And we will talk about fixing knit direction errors in the next tutorial. Once you have set what you would like to have, we've made the changes to this side of the garment. I'm going to say centralize the piece. I'm going to say centralize all the pieces now so that I can look all the pieces in the garment shaping files. Let's make the back the active piece. Now notice if you look at all the pieces, the active piece is almost white. The original pattern drafting pieces are blue for these pockets. The standard garment styling pieces are gray and the exact stitch piece is light green. This way you can easily tell the origin of these particular pieces. We can also temporarily say piece, select a piece, and it brings up a list of the pieces that we have. It's saying for the front, it was a standard garment styling piece. It was not modified in original pattern drafting, but it was modified as an exact stitch layout piece. The back is from standard garment styling and both sleeves are from standard garment styling section of the program. The two pockets originated in original pattern drafting and were never standard garment styling pieces. So you have another way of looking instead of just the colors of the garment pieces on the workspace, but you can also look at it this way. And let's cancel out of this. Thank you.